discussions, presentations, and similar, uh, where this same topic was addressed. And I believe that you you are in contact with artificial intelligence every day. So um, I would assume that you have, um, in a way, absolute uh, basic information of knowledge about it. So first of all, uh, what is B2Bet? Uh, B2Bet is a technology platform provider uh, for operators in the gaming industry, and it's a narrow gaming and narrow sports platforms provide operators all the nece necessary tools to uh, have manage all the aspects of uh, their sport book and uh, gaming operation. Obviously, we have been uh, working the market for several years and uh, have been focused on finding ways uh, how we can lower the cost of the operators uh, with, uh, even though they are fully capable of expanding their market, their business in different markets. For this, of course, there, there is a need for tools that will enable them to, let's say, lower the cost but still be able to uh, catch information uh, from the online players in the appropriate way and act in a timely manner. Um, we have been uh, investing for two years in research and development in IE and uh, we still um, uh, improve our, our product in the, in the ways that we would like to um, enable operators to be a little bit more um, focused on their business operation instead of fears how the players can um, uh, take advantage of their business platform. Right. Then, um, so what are the things that we will touch uh, today in this brief uh, 20 minutes? I will try to be as uh, fast as possible to uh, uh, cover most of the topics. So um, we will see how, how artificial intelligence is useful for the industry, how it can improve user experience, uh, the player uh, journey, how it can uh, improve the life cycle of the player as well, how it can uh, be a true asset for the operators. Obviously, um, artificial intelligence is not a new topic on the market. Uh, main researchers, scientists, uh, etc. have been uh, working on it in the uh, last 70 years. And um, one of the pioneers of uh, artificial intelligence is Alan Turing, who was, um, um, in a way, uh, put the question uh, there, can uh, machines think? Obviously, now we see that, yes, machines are uh, thinking uh, and even more uh, in advanced way than people because of the capability to absorb uh, the number of data and to process them and to then based on some algorithms that even though created by humans uh, still be able to uh, give an output uh, which are beneficial for our day-to-day -day activity, business activity, etc. Um, obviously one of the, um, uh, what we'll be focused now because artificial intelligence is very wide uh, and they have very disciplines uh, uh, one of the uh, subset of, uh, of it is machine learning, and this is uh, what we will see uh, today. Um, you will be able to see here that in machine learning there are three different ways. So, if artificial, artificial intelligence is uh, also called as machine intelligence, and it's demonstrated uh, that machines uh, uh, can process data. Uh, in a different uh, uh, way than natural uh, intelligence of humans and animals. Um, here, the machine learning can uh, do different ways of, of thinking or, or processing data. So one is supervised machine learning. What that means? That means that we know the output, and based on the output, then uh, there are al algorithms that are trying to find the similar patterns, and then um, to achieve the, the output. Um, obviously, here is, uh, um, in, in this uh, segment, you uh, can see different, uh, like the image uh, classification, customer attention, fraud detection, forecasting. So there are different areas which are covered uh, by the set. For example, in, 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 uh, if we see this in the, in, in the 
aspect of the uh, gaming industry, this for sure is one of the ways to identify uh, fraudulent uh, patterns. Um, that uh, this means that you know the patterns, you know the outcome, but you would like to achieve them then based on monitoring of the players, and based on their activity, based on the uh, interactions with the system that they do, you can then identify and mark that as a problem. Um, but the second branch of machine learning is obviously unsupervised machine learning, and this is in the case uh, where you don't know the out output, but then based on algorithms, you analyze the data and uh, uh, generate clusters. So, for example, this in my game, if we, if we, if we see the, the implementation, it can be recommended systems. Meaning that you're tracking the players, you're tracking everything that they do, you're tracking how they uh, interact with the system, you're tracking how they react on your communication with them, and then uh, do certain activities and uh, recommend them content or recommend them new services um, or drive them uh, to use uh, 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 some other product uh, verticals, etc. So there, there are different options that you can do. Then the third, but of course uh, not less significant, is reinforced uh, uh, machine learning. And this is uh, when um, uh, the algorithms interact with the environment and collect data, uh, and then based on that they uh, learn how to um, uh, to act. In general, this is, uh, let's say, uh, uh, self-driving cars. Uh, this is uh, one of the methods how, how they drive the cars, meaning they are collecting data, acquiring information from video and sensors and uh, different uh, uh, distance between the objects, and based on that they uh, react with a certain action. And um, in, uh, um, I would like to tackle a little bit here. Um, if we see the artificial uh, intelligence in the world, we can see different implementations. Like, um, let's say Facebook is using uh, uh, IE for uh, with intelligent bots, bots to uh, save lives of people uh, based on suicidal patterns. So they are checking what they post, uh, what kind of images and faces they do, and everything. So based on the patterns, they can prevent, in a way, suicide. At least that is what they, they think to do. Then we have uh, something like uh, IBM has a solution of um, identifying uh, personal retention solution. This means that in a company, they do certain patterns, analyze behaviors, and they can tell you if someone is about to leave from your company. So um, obviously, these uh, applications in the in other industries are very interesting and very advanced. And uh, or for example, in Amazon, you can put an image um, and say, okay, I want this kind of product, and then uh, uh, we'll give you all the similar products that I find in their database. So. Um, in medicine, if you take medicine, obviously, the cancer early detection of the cancer diagnostics is also used um, by uh, implementing the artificial intelligence. And um, when we see all this, or even if you touch your own uh, smartphone, I don't know if you have seen, but while you are uh, uh, searching some content on Google, or maybe checking some uh, files on the on the application you have on the mobile, or maybe trying to find something on Booking, um, or sometimes if you have uh, um, enabled the option that uh, your phone hear your voice uh, based on the content you, you speak, over time you will see that, for example, when opening Facebook, suggested ads with those topics will appear. So. Obviously, you, at, the, at the moment when you see that, you're not thinking how that is connected, but obviously, behind that is collected data which producing content for you especially. And that is what we eventually have to do in game. So, why artificial intelligence is important um, for our gaming industry? 
I believe that most of you know the answer, uh, but let's recap to be sure. Um, in gaming, I when I first entered gaming like five years ago, I think artificial intelligence was not uh, even close to entering in uh, such a big way. Obviously, in the past two years, there are many uh, both operators and providers and uh, that are really considering uh, and implementing uh, different um, uh, tools to benefit from artificial intelligence. Uh, but if we see other industries, we I believe that I mean, is still lagging. Um, uh, take the example of Netflix and Google, for example, what kind of uh, um, advancement they have done. So um, everything that um, other industries have done, we for sure can uh, implement in iGaming and advance that. On the other ha uh, hand, why is it beneficial? Because we are um, facing a lot of data. It is not like being in, a, in retail, I don't know, 15 years ago, when the person comes to the bed, goes back, or they go and use one slot and go back home. So now we have a lot of data you're collecting the data. If uh, 15 years ago you have been uh, back in shop in uh, some neighborhood, obviously now uh, you are um, exposed on the internet and uh, all billions of people in the world can access your site. So the difference is obviously, well, obviously significant. So why I think can benefit? can benefit because it can protect the business, it can grow the business in a smart way without allowing those that would like to abuse your system uh, have advantage of it. Uh, first thing that appears on our mind uh, about artificial intelligence obviously is the personalization and personalization. But, um, uh, and this is based on data collection and prediction. And the uh, most important aspect is, uh, in the technology is uh, uh, how to make betting uh, for your players uh, more easier. What they would like to choose, which product they are interested in, how they will be able to um, select a bet out of millions of events and markets, etc. So imagine how difficult it will be if you take um, uh, let's say a player in Africa where they have low bandwidth, where uh, their phones are low and uh, the screen size is even smaller than a smartphone. Um, so, and they are uh, placing the bet with uh, 30 cents or so. So, what you do? How, how fast you would like to, uh, to, to give them an option? It, it is difficult on mobile screens, which are very small, to uh, to have fast, uh, uh, fast betting. But if you collect all that you know about them over time, even if they choose the preferences, then you can just serve the offer in a very quick way. You can make a personal offer, you can uh, give them three, five, ten bets, you can give them uh, five uh, slots based on the velocity of the uh, slots that they have chosen previously. So you have with artificial intelligence, a lot of options to really make a personal journey of a player. And that is all fine when we're speaking about personalization and personalization. And I believe that nowadays, many of the operators and even platform uh, providers are on the way to do this in a very nice and sophisticated way. But then, what else? Um, is it enough to acquire a user? I don't think so. Is it enough to make uh, the user aware of your uh, system or your offering? Of course not. So when we use artificial intelligence, we can um, impact the life cycle of the player in many ways. Meaning we can uh, make them aware of, of, uh, um, of your offering. We can increase um, uh, retention. We can make better engagement. And uh, what is interesting that 
based on how, how they were interacting with your um, casino, obviously you can drive them, reactivate them, and even um, uh, make sure that the cost that you have been um, placing for user acquisition can for sure be returned uh, uh, in a smart way. So artificial intelligence and the data that you have in your casinos doesn't necessarily mean just increasing your uh, disk space and, uh, and, uh, and do nothing. In contrary, you can do a lot more in that way. Um, improving acquisition rate, of course, is uh, important, but also retaining the players. Why this is important? Because you do not want to throw 100 euros per acquired user and to, use, uh, to, lo to lose them after three days. If uh, the player feels that you care about them based on the content that you present, based on the communication that you do with them, because not all prefer to have emails um, or SMSs or they prefer different ways. If you have a chatbot on your site that can uh, interact with the player, push promotions in an appropriate way, in an appropriate moment, for sure, you will uh, um, find uh, uh, better retention. For example, in the CRM, CRM world, in the sales, let's say, um, I believe that you're aware, based on all the information uh, given, uh, it is concluded that uh, Tuesday, is uh, uh, before noon, is a very good day for cold emails. But then you have to uh, uh, make a call after 20 minutes after that cold email. And that is the most productive, uh, uh, productive types of cold emails, you can imagine. And that is only based on acquired data. So, if you have data collected based on, uh, based on the behavior of the player, and then identify when is the best time to communicate new products or recommend products or um, give them some new material, etc. Obviously, it will make the life cycle of the player longer. But this is for the nice things. Uh, and then we have another aspect. Another aspect is the fraud, where uh, the implementation of um, artificial intelligence is very important. Because you are not facing one person in the casino that comes and play on one table, or you're not facing one person that comes to the counter and plays a bet. You are facing millions of, uh, thousands of, uh, of players, and you don't know who they are. You have maybe uh, some personal data, and some might be, uh, and some may be model of the device that he's accessing from. But we don't know the person himself. So, fraud activities and, uh, in a way, making sure that uh, you don't expose yourself on, on uh, fraud of users and don't allow misuse of your system is very important. This means that in real time you can parse data and then generate actions to reduce or block such an activity. Because you do not want to have, if you have 1,000 registrations, 1,000 uh, also uh, uh, team members in the fraud and payments uh, um, team. You would like to have still two maybe for that uh, particular operation. So it is obviously that the system thinks uh, for you. And uh, another topic is a uh, problem with the gaming. And uh, of course, uh, uh, when we speak about regulations and everything of uh, gambling should be addressed. And uh, this is where the identification of patterns uh, can be done and can be made. And this can prevent uh, and can um, improve uh, the quality of your operation. Um, to not speak uh, more and longer, because I think I'm running out of time. So the customer support. Would you like to have 1,000 customer support for 1,000 registered uh, users? Of course not. You would like to have uh, 1 million for 1 million um, registered users? Of course not. You would like to have less, but achieve more. And this is where the chatbots uh, the, uh, are, are coming uh, uh, 
uh, coming in place. Nowadays, in banking, in finance institutions, in other industries, chatbots are very heavily used. And that is uh, seeing that it is very good success because it, based on, on the communication that is done and the patterns, how the player is communicating and the responses that the chatbot delivers, the engagement is better of the player, of the customer. This means that you can still have your own small customer care team, but increase your business and increase not um, only by number of users, but in quality, okay? This is very important. And then, as a conclusion, what we can expect? I believe that uh, seeing in the last uh, several years different companies, even though from not gaming industry, coming to gaming, providing their services of artificial intelligence, being able to process your data, being able to process what you have um, as, a, um, uh, as, as a database in order to improve your uh, business, obviously is a good step and it's a good sign that we are going uh, very fast in this. So if, uh, um, I, I'm, if I see that we are in a, uh, not only dealing with data, but we are now in the era of uh, smart interfaces where we are uh, controlling the, um, the devices at home with our voice. Uh, we can um, uh, ask our refrigerator to make a, a diet for us based on the content that it is in the refrigerator. So obviously there are many things that are very advanced in other industries and why not placing a bet with voice control is something that is far from us, of course not. But I truly believe that everything that is there and all achievements in other industries for sure can uh, be implemented in IDA. in just about finding the priorities and funding, finding what is more applicable for the markets we are operating in for the audience that we are dealing with. Um, but, uh, I believe that there is a very short period that we will um, uh, bridge the gap between gaming and other industries. And of course, um, uh, I would like to see that in, uh, in our products, in, in our operations. So as a conclusion, um, let's uh, think all together and be open uh, with the uh, on, on other on similar events to find ways how to suggest uh, and how to do more in our uh, businesses. Do you have any questions there? So you are so nice. Thank you very much for the attention and have a nice day.